Hi friends, welcome back to Wild Caught Vintage. My name is Raven. I'm the owner of Rockabilly Raven Vintage on Etsy. And this video today is a haul, but it's also a how-to. So, first off, this whole video is about scarves. As if you have seen in my videos, I wear scarves in my hair every single day. Um, it is a rare day that I do not have my hair up and covered. So I have for years been a collector of scarves and study scarf brands and styles, cuts and colors. So in this video, I want to show you a couple of tips and tricks for how to tell the age and how to identify scarves that are vintage that you might find out in the wild. So, to start with, I'm going to show you this lovely um, 1960s silk scarf. Um, just to make sure everybody knows, I got all of these scarves at one little um, SPCA thrift store up in Cleveland. Um, they were all a dollar a piece. Um, they were just in a basket kicked under a table. And there wasn't anything else in the store except for a ball canning blue blue book uh, that I picked up from the 60s. I love canning books. So it wasn't a great haul video sort of uh, material, but it gave me a good number of scarves to show you some different uh, pieces of information. So back to our 1960s scarf. Awesome color block. Very geometric. Um, which was a big indicator from the 60s. When you feel it, you can tell that it is silk. It has no tags. So it would be a tricky one, but a wonderful indicator that this is vintage is right here on the edge. And I really hope that you can see this. So the reason this is a good indicator is it is a hand sewn hem. The hems are all hand sewn. They're not done with a machine. So every single one of these stitches is hand done and that is an indicator of a vintage scarf. Um, not only is it silk, it's got a good very 60s uh, style print to it as well as the colors are very much uh, a 1960s style. If all of those things were there and then all of a sudden it was like crazy machine stitched on the edge, I might think I have a reproduction. But instead, I know this is an authentic 1960s scarf with a hand rolled hem. That is what that is called. Hand rolled hem. So, there is that. Um, this particular scarf is an awesome big, very big, beautiful, so pretty, uh, floral print scarf. This scarf is acetate. It is not silk. Um, it is a, a polyester style. Um, it is from the 1970s. How do I know it's from the 70s? In the 70s, we started to get really big hair scarves that would cover a lady's hair. Um, we got these bigger floral prints, which are really great. Um, and you could have pieces like this that were a little bit older, but they wouldn't be made out of acetate and they would not have, this might be hard to see and get my hands in there. This is a machine sewn hem. So there is no tag on this. Always look for tags. Um, there's no maker's mark on it. There's no signature. When you look at scarves, and we'll go over this in a few, um, look for signatures. See if you can find a signature on there. My cool 1960s pink one doesn't have a signature. My 1970s floral acetate one does not have a signature, but still vintage scarves. So um, going backwards, we have this awesome, really nice, neutral scarf with a very fine print. It is a very fine print. Really beautiful. 
And this little gem is a tricky one because it's a print. It is rayon. It is, it's a hard one. I've been a vintage dealer for over a decade. I know what rayon feels like and it is a rayon scarf. The reason I say it's tricky is because somebody cut the tag off or maybe it just ripped off. But if you notice, it has very tight machine sewn hem. But how do I know that this is older? This scarf is from the 40s. This scarf is from the 1940s. But Raven, how do you know it's from the 40s? Let me tell you why. If you look at the stitch count, which is how tight these stitches are, that is an indicator of an older machine. Our newer machines, the stitch length is longer, which means our stitch count is smaller. So I'm gonna hold these up so that you can see a comparison. Also look how fine this hem is and how wide and gappy this one is. Can you see the difference? Still both vintage, much older than this one. Um, so again, fantastic, not quite as big. This is a 1940s print scarf that has great kind of a gold print on it. And then of course we've got this really good hem. That's what you're going to be able to tell. You can also tell by the little teeny tiny fragments of the tag that's left that it's a little bit older. Alright, so now I've got slightly more obvious vintage. So I have here a beautiful, huge 1960s silk scarf. So earlier I mentioned that you should look for a signature. And this one has a signature, but this signature might trick you. It is from Echo. Echo still makes scarves today. So again, now we need to use our other tips and tricks to be able to tell how old it is. If you look at the hem, it is a hand rolled hem. It is not machined. It is 100% silk. When you are looking for silk scarves, you need to look for damage like this. Those are called runs or pulls. Um, if they don't bother you, which they do not bother me, and they're not huge, don't let it deter you from getting a scarf. If they are big and they are running and they've got holes, it's worthless. Don't, don't bother with it. So if our colors and our print doesn't give it away, material is really good quality. We got a hand sewn hem. This particular beauty still has a tag. And this is a 1960s Echo tag. Um, if you look right here, it says made in Japan. Good indicator from the 60s. It's 100% silk, but it has an RN number, which also is a good indicator that it's from the 1970s, or 1960s, not the 1970s, 1960s. So now look at this beautiful thing really pretty floral butterfly botanical print silk scarf little newer right no tags let's look at our stitching definitely very well done but it's a machine stitch see how even it is humans are not that even in their stitching it's a, a machine stitch it's silk. I can tell by the feel. It's so light and soft. It's a wonderful silk scarf. Always look for a maker's mark. Always look for a signature on your scarves. Vera and very myriad of other makers, especially the older they are, the tinier they wrote their signature and they hid it. 
So this particular one is Oscar de la Renta. This is a vintage Oscar de la Renta silk scarf. Um, newer Oscar de la Renta has a very different signature. This tiny little Oscar de la Renta signature is probably from the 70s. Um, and it may even be a late 1960s print. Um, I don't think so. I'm going to guess it's the 70s. Um, the signature for the Oscar de la Renta's got bigger, much like many other branded uh, artisans as the 80s came closer and closer. But beautiful silk scarf, very valuable. It's going to be a wonderful piece. I'll probably put this up in my store. Um, but never forget to look for signatures, my friends. And with that, let me show you my favorite scarf, which is this amazing blue and orange, I got a thing for orange and blue, scarf. It is a hand rolled hem. You can tell because it actually is a little bit loose in a few places. All hand rolled. And the reason that this one is so fabulous is it is from, I hope I say her name right, Eliza Chaparelli. I think it's Chaparelli. I love her, but I've never had to say her last name out into YouTube world where someone will make fun of me if I said it wrong. Um, she's an unbelievable 20th century uh designer powerful beautiful designer um and this was made probably long after her death in the 1950s into the 1960s i'm gonna guess this is a late 50s early 60s scarf the printing is great it's really pretty the color is vibrant it does not have um a materials tag still it just has the signature Look for signatures. Sharparelli scarves are no joke. They are valuable. It is a high-end, beautiful piece. And I got it for a dollar. It is staying here. I very much doubt that I will put this up and sell it. Um, it is, it's an older, not the oldest. Sharparelli was very famous in the 1930s. Um, but this is her design house. Her design house is still very active today. It was unbelievable designs. Um, but this is a piece of, of their design house that I will probably keep in my collection. So there you have it, my friends. Tips and tricks on scarves. Um, I hope that this video has blessed you in some way. I'm going to take all my scarves down. I hope it has blessed you in some way. And if you like this sort of thing, please consider liking and subscribing. Um, if you have any questions or any comments, feel free to leave those down below. Um, and I hope to see you in a video in the near future. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.